What's up guys, I'm back here with another episode of Best Android Apps and if you have not been through my previous episode, the link to it is in the description. So without any further delay, let's begin. The first one here is the floating notifications. The name of the app is self-explanatory. Basically, you will get a floating notification for any of your notifications, somewhat like the Facebook chat heads. So first you need to do the setup for this floating notifications. You can enable the apps for your floating notifications. Uh, you can enable all your desired application. Say for example the SMS, a WhatsApp, Hangouts and so on. You also can enable all your applications. And you go back. Here you have your extensions. So uh, this is the clock. This is for the missed call. And this is the SMS extension. That means whenever you have a missed call or a SMS, you will get a floating notification. So first you need to enable it. And you know what? Let me just enable the clock as well so that on that floating icon you will have your time displayed now go back you also can customize this floating notification that means you can get additional themes from the play store uh, this is the floating notification and uh, you can change the theme of this circle you have a lot of themes to choose from anyway you also can do additional uh, setup for the size uh, the text size and stuff like that let's go back and uh, from the settings you can uh, do the behavior settings lock screen settings and many more so now let me just quickly send myself a text and let me just quickly show it to you how this works. And one thing here as I've already said that uh, since we have enabled the clock, we have this clock displayed on this circle. So guys I just sent myself a text and here's the text. Since we have the clock on the first floating notification, we have a secondary circle. And if you tap onto this, you will have your message displayed. You can call back to this contact, email it or reply to this contact. You also can double tap this notification to remove it. So very handy and you can enable this for a lot of different applications. So that's my number one. Next one here is the light flow. In simple words, with this app you can control your LED light notification. You can choose separate colors for the LED notification light for different apps or different actions. So first you need to enable the light flow from the settings menu, enable light flow. And you also have additional features for direct mode, root mode, so if you are rooted, it's good. For some devices, it requires root permissions, so it's a plus if you are rooted. You also have notification method, notification method on charge, USA and Canada S3 mode, HTC alternative, and a lot of different modes. So in case if this app does not work with your device, you can just play around with your settings and make this app work. Let's go back. And uh, you also have some additional features like you can set vibration patterns for your notification. I'll come back to it in a moment. So first thing first, this app is to change the color of your notification, so let's do it. So under notification, you have a lot of different actions like Bluetooth on, charged battery, charging battery. Here you have your Facebook with this blue light. That means if you get a notification on your Facebook, the LED light will indicate you with a blue color. Similarly, you can do the LED light setup for various apps. So let's do it for charging battery. So first you need to enable the notification and then go on to light and you can choose the color so let me set it to okay deep orange all right you also have sounds repeat sounds vibrations so that you can set uh, you know a custom vibration pattern for your notifications and so on so you can just play around with your settings the main thing is to change the color of your led light for various actions so that i'll quickly show it to you so let's do it now let me charge my device so now my device is charging and uh, you can see the orange light blinking. So let me just quickly change the color again. So going on to the app and going on to notification, charging battery, light and from orange let me get into okay purple. Now done go back. So this will take some time to load. So guys, I hope you noticed the purple color blinking. So basically with this app, you can change the color of your LED notification light for various actions. The next one here is the FX Guru. With this app, you can add a lot of different types of visual effects onto your videos with additional filters and a lot of cool effects to it. So first you need to do the setup for this application from the settings menu and here you can enable or disable music. You can choose the video resolution 
since this is a free version uh, we don't have the option to get into this uh, high definition mode file size frame rate and here we have the enter unlock code so if you pay for this you will get an unlock code for additional features so let's get back and going on to start here you have a lot of different type of effects like satellite grass ghost bride um, you know a lot of cool effects visual effects dancing druid police chase uh, bunker buster and many more once with this gold color are paid and uh, one you see with this silver color is free so I have uh, taken a video with this UFO effect UFO subtle effect it should be somewhere here okay UFO subtle effect so let me just quickly show it to you so here's the video and here you can see the UFO subtle and the effect onto this video So depending on your video, you can add suitable visual effects onto your videos. So with this app, you can add various types of visual effects and uh, you can make your videos a lot more cinematic, uh, you know, science fiction kind of thing. So that's my number three. The next one here is the Swift Key keyboard. This app has been recently updated with some cool features. So first, let me just launch the keyboard. And uh, this is the keyboard, looks really nice. You also can do additional customizations and set up from this settings menu. You can press the 1, 2, 3 icon and you'll get this. So here you can go into the keyboard settings. I'll come back to it in a moment. Here you have the themes from where you can choose the theme for your keyboard. So here you have some themes. So let's choose. Uh, okay, dark. Let it be dark. And arrow keys. You can enable or disable the arrow keys and uh, accented characters so going back so there you see the new theme with the arrow keys all right at the bottom going back to themes let me just disable the arrow keys now going back and there you go with this new update you do get this new modes the full mode the thumb mode and the compact the full mode is the one i'm using right now this is the thumb mode uh, if you use your keyboard on the landscape mode for typing that comes really handy okay there you go and here again you have this uh, compact mode for a single hand use on a larger device you can either move it to left or right as well so let's get back to the normal mode and you also can uh, you know make your keyboard float alright you can unlock it and you can make it float on your screen and get it back to the default place and again you have this resizing mode you can uh, choose the size of your keyboard so a lot of cool features added to this new update so let's go on to settings here you have swift key cloud you can uh, back up all your settings that you have done on your swift key keyboard so that is a really good feature here you also can do the setup for your language you can download additional languages and uh, that is really handy if you are using any other language on your phone here you have theme and layout, sound and vibration, input method. Here you have flow, that is like the glide feature that you get with the default Android keyboard and this is the voice input. So the glide feature works great as well. So let me just show it to you. So the predictions are really fast and really great, pretty accurate. And here you have your advanced setup. So you can do your setup according to your preferences. So a very cool looking keyboard with a lot of cool features. So that's my number four. Next one here is the One Weather, a very detailed and a feature packed weather application with a lot of cool widgets. So this is the interface that you get. Okay. And uh, here you have your temperature. Here you have weather conditions for your upcoming days, the hourly temperature report, rain predictions your location and uh, the sunrise the sunset and the full moon indication so that is really good so let's go ahead and have a look at the widgets that we get with this application so here you have a widget with a 2x2 two two grid size 4x2 4x1 4x1 with you know different styles so let's place this one okay and here you can customize this widget you can give in your location you can give in the background color background opacity that means you can make your widget transparent if you want the accent color 
and a sole location name hit ok and there you see a very cool weather widget with a lot of details upcoming days and uh, the wind speed rain predictions humidity and so on again going on to widgets here you have a different style widget let's place it again you can change the accent color so there you see the current time it's night so you are getting a moon here Monday 18th November and so on your location humidity and all the details and this is the widget I use the most you have the Google search integrated the time and the date uh, the temperature and uh, the condition right now so this is really good and when it's the daytime you know the background changes you get a bright color background this widget is really good with a lot of cool features so that's my number five the last one for this video is the air droid so with this app you can connect your phone uh, with your PC or your laptop wirelessly over the same Wi-Fi for transferring files and data between your phone and your PC now what you can do is you can uh, copy this web address or this IP address and paste it onto your internet browser on your PC or your laptop so let's do it so here as you can see we have this web.airdroid.com you need to type this onto your computer internet browser so let's do it so there you see web.airdroid.com and make sure your PC or your laptop and your phone is using the same Wi-Fi and hit enter so this is what you'll get and guys from here you can transfer your files and photos onto your phone so you can go on to files okay and uh, upload it uh, to this folder so that you can uh, wirelessly get those files on your phone and again from your phone from these files you can uh, download the files on your computer so very handy applications and uh, especially for new android users uh, you don't have the hassle of connecting the USB wires onto your PC to transfer the files. So very handy application. That's all for this video guys. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any suggestions or any questions, leave it in the comment section. I will be coming up with more videos. Stay subscribed and you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.